Congratulations, fantastic, fantastic season for you that culminates here today. We'll start with that 100, 1030, ties the state meet record. Number three time in the U.S., take us through that race. When the gun went off, there was little doubt who was going to win that particular race. Take us through that race. Now. Um, I went into the race with a positive mindset as always. I just wanted to make sure I had my race put together the right way. So I went in thinking I was going to do everything perfectly. Um, I got out the blocks, you know, I was, I'm racing with the top guy, so, you know, I, I'm, my start is the weakest point of my race, so I would say that everyone got out and they were a little ahead of me, and then I got into my drive phase, and that's when I kind of got even with everyone, and then once I picked it up and got into my top end is when I really noticed I was winning the race. You talked about it, but you got out, there were people there with you, and you had to kind of rally them. Yes, sir. What does that tell you about sort of the toughness you have in a particular race where obviously there's not a lot of time for you to rally and come back for you to be able to grow and the rules you are able to hit today? Uh, I just think that mentally, I think I came into the race mentally prepared more than maybe anyone else in that race. My coach had told me prior to the race, you know, he told me, I, we, we both know that my start is my weakest point, so he told me, maybe, you know, if someone's in front of you in the beginning, just relax and it'll all come to you at the end of the race. Obviously, you know the history of California sports, and to see that time, 1030, tying a state new record, how special accomplishment was that for you? Uh, it's a great accomplishment. I never really imagined, after coming in for football, you know, I kind of went into this year not taking track as serious as maybe I was last year, but, um, you know, it just feels great, because I went in, I had a goal set, and I surpassed it, and then after that, I was just working towards getting the new record, so that's what I came out here today to do. The man wasn't finished yet, comes back later, 2069 in the 200, another state championship, take us to that particular race, what was key for that one coming out of the curve there, hugging it really, really precisely, take us to that one. Um, it's a little colder out here today, so, you know. I didn't really, I would say my body was a little colder than what I would have liked going into the race, so my time wasn't as fast as I would have wanted it to, but at the end of the race, I just did what I had to do and came out and got the dub. You said coming out here to get the dub, when you look back at the season, now that it's kind of over in terms of California competition, two state championships, and the level of performance you had, just take us through the gratification you have. Um, it feels great, you know. Not only do I make my parents and my family proud, but... I bring a big honor to Madison. I, uh, I'm honored to be a Warhawk. And, you know, I really just, I give all recognition to my coaches. They, they give me all the right tools that I need to be the best that I can be. And I really appreciate my mom and dad for always being, being there for me and giving me the love that I need. 